Always a cauldron of intensity as players are warming up and getting set to roll into Bryant-Denny Stadium in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. It ought to be a great one tonight, and we're glad you're with us. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit ready to call ESPN's college football. We're in West Central Alabama, the heart of Dixie, looking forward to today's exciting game. Now this one should be exciting. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler with Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews. We've got more NCAA Football 13 for you. This presentation of college football is brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. And we've got a good one tonight between the Pittsburgh Panthers and the Crimson Tide of Alabama. Field for the coin toss presented by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. The, and the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Shillelagh Trophy is the prize in the battle between Notre Dame and Purdue. This one was tight. The Boilermakers claim the W, 31-28. In other games, the Horned Frogs came into the game ranked eight. A hard-fought game. How high can they stay in the poll? And for Kansas, they've won two straight. Kansas gets the W, 27-9. Thanks, Reese. No score in this one. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Sheds that one. Brought down at the 28. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Gilliam, back to throw. He's going to air it long. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Third down and seven. Ball on their own 28. This place is getting loud. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Here's the run, got a hole. Tackle at the 47-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They'll bring him down at around the 44-yard line. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Crowd a huge factor here. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. He's tackled at the 36. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost him. Manning is waiting for the snap. 
booming kick. And he's taken down at the 27. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Tigers came into the day ranked 12. All those who said they weren't that good now have plenty of ammunition. And for Auburn, they've lost two in a row. And for Mackey, a good day. More than 200 yards passing. Tennessee wins it 27-24. Meanwhile, the Terrapins were ranked 22nd. Now they'll be lucky to hold on to a spot, any spot, in the polls. The unthinkable has happened. A major upset. West Virginia finishes it 24-17. Thanks, Reese. No score in this one. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Quick throw to the tight end. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big game, and this offense keeps humming along. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 39. Option here. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. And he's taken down around the 20-yard line. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. The 10. Touchdown, Alabama. They decided to go to the running back on that touchdown pass. Just a nice job by the quarterback of showing great patience here, going through his progressions, finally finding the back to get into the end zone. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown? Well, they've got to regroup. Wesley has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll set up shot at the 25. He drops the throw on first down. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Tackle made around the 31-yard line. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. The intensity of this place is increasing. He fights forward to about the 33. Mays comes away with two yards on the carry. Parker is back awaiting the punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Signals for a fair catch. So if you're the offense here, what's your mindset right now? Well, I think they're anxious to get back out on the field. Last time out, they drove right down the field, so they know they can move it. Quick pass. And he's tackled right around the 20. 
Baker makes the tackle at the three yard line. That makes it second and two. From their own 20 yard line, it's second down. Alabama is up by a touchdown. Looking to throw. And he's going to come up with a sack. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. From their own 12-yard line. Third down. He sails it long. Drops it. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. And for Oregon State, they're in trouble. In danger of losing five straight. Toledo on top. 21-20. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Wesley to punt. Calls for the fair catch. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. From their own 43-yard line, second down. the 49 yard line not a bad little play there yeah this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game it's third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks this crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team Here's a run. And he's level at the 39-yard line. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. From the 39-yard line, first down. Again, he'll get the call. Tackled after a decent pickup. Mays gets seven yards on the play. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he is drilled at the 32. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Third down and short, and the stadium is rocking right now. And he throws it away. And this brings up an interesting situation. If you have faith in your kicker, then I'd take the three points here. Otherwise, I'd probably just give it to my halfback and let him put his head down and try to get the first. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He drops back. Sacks, and they'll turn it over. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. This drive will start at the 36-yard line. Alabama is up a score. Peterson steps back to pass. Going deep. That's 
a great tackle at the 19. How easy does that make it for a receiver? Run your route, put out your hands, and there's the ball. That is scary accuracy in a big game. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Set up first and goal. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. Goes to the fullback. Touchdown. The fullback catches the pass for a touchdown. I like that. Sneak your fullback out and get him the ball. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Drops back to pass. Nice catch, first down. He's knocked out. That's a gain of 13 on the play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. What? Way to look at this. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. We played one. Alabama leads it 14 nothing. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Everybody on their feet. They want to see a stop right now. Again with a carry. He gets out to about the 44 yard line. That makes it first and 10. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44. Back to pass. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. They got him for a loss. 
You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. Throws it in a hurry. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 22-yard line. First down. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22. Play fake. Over the middle. Got him over the middle. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. It's the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's have a look at what's going on in Corvallis. And for Toledo, they remain red hot. Toledo gets the W, 28-20. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 14-7. Pittsburgh gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's looking to pass. Slings it out, and it gets tipped. Alert read on that play. He didn't have too much time to react to that pass. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Alabama up seven points. Once it all, going deep. Leaps picked off. Tackle at about the 27-yard line. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah, this guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Dives, and he's down. So the quarterback scrambles for about eight yards. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That is a textbook tackle right there. He leveled his shoulders and just put his whole body weight behind that one. Great hit. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He's going to try and scramble. He's wrapped up for the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Manning is waiting for the snap. Gets to about the 34-yard line. You're always looking for the home run return, the big highlight. Didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. They'll take over at the 34. Alabama is up seven. He's going to go for the home run. First 
terrific effort to pick up the first down. He got total extension and was able to keep his hands between the ball and the turf. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. And they make the stop right around the four-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. They'll go with the run once again. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 20. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 20. Nowhere to go on that play-action pass completion. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. The junior makes the catch. Tackle made at about the 29-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Parker will be the return man. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. You've probably heard it said that there's holding on every play. It's just not called. I don't think it's really that prevalent, but you can get away with it sometimes, and other times you can. From their own 18-yard line, first down. Gain as he works the right side. That brings up second and five. From their own 23 yard line, it's second down. Throws it into coverage and it's intercepted to the 20. Touchdown! Hit! How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown.
And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He hits a booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. Malone picks up around five yards with that catch. That brings up second and five. Second and five, ball on the 30-yard line. Alabama is up a score. Alabama is going to use their first time out of the half here. Russell, left side, and he's taken down at about the 45. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. First and 10, ball on the 45-yard line. Great concentration to haul it in. He's taken down at the 42. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator's doing here. Throwing it on first and second down to keep the defense guessing. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. First down and back to pass. Now he's scrambling. He's at the 30. He's tackled around the 25-yard line. They've got a solid drive going here. But I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. First and 10. Ball on the 25. Looking to throw. Throws and it's knocked away. From the 25-yard line, second down. Alabama is up by a touchdown. He scrambled. And they get the sack. And for Lester, he gets to the quarterback again. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Alabama is going to have to use their second time out of the half. He passes it, and he pulls it down. He's already thrown for three scores. Now the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. And when you've got guys going up and making catches like that, it makes this quarterback's job much easier. They'll go to work at the 25. Nice 
run, and he's brought down. The Panthers don't like the looks of things. They're going to take their first time out. They're about four yards away here on second down. Gilliam steps back to pass. Passes it, and it's picked out of the sky. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown. Big play. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He puts it deep downfield. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. They'll bring him down at the 29. Pittsburgh's a little confused. They use their second timeout. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. goes at the 41 yard line i credit the quarterback on that pass he made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down as we've seen before they go with a hurry up offense he drops back and he is drilled at the 36 man it's an offensive lineman this is the worst thing that you want to see is your quarterback not only getting sacked but getting hit like that those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. Drops back to pass. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. He drops back. Tackle around the 36-yard line. Alabama will take their final timeout. Manning awaits the snap. Oh, excellent punt. Calls for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 15 yard line. The offense will start at the 15. Hands it off. Gets out to around the 25. We've still got a half of football remaining. Alabama's got a three touchdown advantage. Pittsburgh is set to kick this ball off, and we're just about set to get the second half started. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. All right, we go down to Aaron Andrews for a quick update. There was no shortage of big plays in that first half. And for Pittsburgh, they'll be looking to force more turnovers to add to their two from the first half. Guys? This drive will start at the 25-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 34. 
They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Hand off inside. Brought down at the 46-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. From the 46-yard line, first down. He'll get it again. Pass some daylight. He makes his way to about the 28. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. From the 28-yard line, first down. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From the 26-yard line, second down. They'll run it. Runs right for a nice game. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and two. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. him hard at the 13-yard line. A quick update now. Here's Reese. What is happening in Waco? And for UTSA, they've now come up short five straight times. And for Crooks, he went for more than 100 yards in this one. The Bears get the W, 20 to 17. All right, Reese, back to our game. From the 13-yard line, it's first down. They give to the tailback. That's a great tackle at the 10. Jackson gets three yards on the carry. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He throws left on the pass. Touchdown. How about the tight end? This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. Alabama up big right now in this one. He makes the PAT, an eight-play, 74-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Now, the offense coordinator's got to be elated just at this point because everything seems to be going right. Not only are they consistently moving the football, but they also have big plays in this offense, which just kills the defense's mindset. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. What? Going for the home run. Got a man. The senior makes the catch. Inside the 30. The 10. What a throw. Well, here you get to see how accurate the quarterback is. He places the deep ball in there perfectly. Just a great throw. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Back to pass, and he 
hits him hard at the 14-yard line. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Second down and goal. Ball on the 14-yard line. He's scrambling. Tackle made at the three-yard line. That makes it 30 goal. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three-yard line. Gilliam running the option. And he's taken down around the nine-yard line. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. The defense jumped, but I think a lineman moved first. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He hits a booming kick. They'll start this drive at the 25. Alabama looking to add to this big lead here. He's gobbled up in the backfield. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calling. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 24. Russell on the inside handoff. The 50. And he's brought down at the 37-yard line. What a huge run by the tailback. It's pretty obvious that this offensive line controlled the line of scrimmage that time, but did you see how this halfback eluded the defense? So we've got a first down after a great running play. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at the 27. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. It's second down now. and They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Slings it. And he's level at the 15-yard line. That was a nicely thrown ball with some arc on it. He's a very precise passer, and he makes it look easier than it is. First and 10. Ball on the 15. He's tackled at the 6. A nine-yard pickup by the tailback on the counter play. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Alabama up by a bunch. They'll work the right side. job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. And he hits the PAT.
like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. For Alabama, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. This aggressive defense has enjoyed multiple sacks tonight. They also have that one takeaway. Well, when this offense does complete a pass, they're not doing that badly. Yeah, the secondary and linebackers aren't able to make a play at the point of catch a lot of times. And for Alabama, they also have the defensive touchdown to their credit. The offense will take over at the 25-yard line. Scrambling around. And he is drilled at the 34-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. Second down and around one yard to go. Ball on their own 34. He drops back. He rifles it to the right. It's knocked away, incomplete. Excellent pass defense. You've got to be able to make a lightning quick reaction to bat the ball away like he did right there. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Right side with the option. And down he goes around the 30-yard line. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Parker back deep to return. And this one is a beauty. And he just got drilled. Return for a game of 12 yards. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Looks to pass. And he's tackled at the 40. Gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 40. Alabama with a big advantage. Caught with room to work. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 43. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. the 43-yard line. First down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Peterson drops to pass here on first down. Strike to his receiver. No good. Intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he dropped it. Williams intended to see the play. That brings up third, third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Looking to throw. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. One quarter to go, and we may be looking at some mop-up duty. Alabama's got a huge lead. Alabama up big. It's out of bounds at the three-yard line. 
Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. They come out in a goal line set. Tackle right around the two-yard line. Second down. They're deep in their own territory. Brought down around the two-yard line. Third down. And as they come up to the line, they're going to be in the shadow of their own goalpost. When you're in a position like this where it's late in the game, you just cannot afford to have such an unproductive possession. Manning is waiting for the snap. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Parker fields it at the 50. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. We'll see if they can capitalize on the good field position. He's out of bounds at about the 35. That play fake, good for five yards. Good job by the quarterback to put the ball right in the hands of the big tight end there. From the 35-yard line, second down. Feeds it to the back. That's a great tackle at the 36. Even though they lost yards, they shouldn't get away from the ground game. Keep pounding it away. It keeps the defense honest, and it creates opportunities in the passing game. Alabama with a commanding lead. Going deep. Through his hands. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Back to pass. He's at the 20. And he finds his tight end wide open. And they make the stop at the 12-yard line. That is a nice job by the quarterback picking up the first down. He hung in there and stuck to it, even though the receiver ended up breaking off of his original route. They were definitely on the same page that time, and it helped that the defense was in man coverage. Anytime a quarterback has that much time to throw, somebody's going to get open. From the 12-yard line, first down. Here's a counter to the right. Jackson comes away with about two yards on a little counter play. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 10-yard line. Give to the tailback. Tackle made at the 10-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That'll bring up third and eight. Here's third and eight. Ten yards to the end zone. Drops back to pass. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. That makes it fourth and eight. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. They're already up big, and this could make the lead bigger. The kick is up, and he's got it. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. 
First down and back to pass. Pass is tipped away. Coach is going to have to be happy with that one. The defender was in the right position to make the play. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Gets rid of it quickly. Thompson was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. It's third and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Gilliam drops back. Running back's open, and oh, it's dropped. They're going to have to be more successful throwing the football. You can't gain solid yardage if the defense isn't concerned about the passing game. They're going to end up crowding the line of scrimmage, expecting a run on every down. Manning is the putter. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he's taken down the 39-yard line. They'll start at the 39. Alabama looking to build on this commanding lead here. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 39. Quick throw, and he's taken down right around the 46-yard line. That reception good for seven yards. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Try to just force something there. Just good hard running for the first down. From the 47 yard line, it's first down. Nice run up the middle. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Russell gets a carry right side. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Time to get you up to date on what's happening in Bloomington. And for Memphis, they've now dumped four in a row. The Hoosiers get the win, 38-14. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34. Just under two to go in the game. They'll keep it on the ground again. Runs right for a nice game. Russell gained seven yards on that play. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Here's the option. He's tackled around the 25-yard line. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. And so it's another third down upcoming here. They go to the ground game. Tackled after a decent pickup. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Today we saw a game that wasn't even close. Alabama, 52. Pittsburgh, 17. And the Panthers, 17.
Let's get Kirk Herbstreet's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? We got exactly what we expected to get in this one. Pittsburgh really had their work cut out for themselves today, and they just weren't able to get it done. They just didn't have the firepower to match up with the talented athletes on the other side of the ball. Take a look at our choice for today's player of the game. He made a big contribution to his team's win. For the Crimson Tide, they continue their winning ways at 4-0. And for the Panthers, 1-3 uh, starts not what they had in mind. So that's going to wrap things up for us. For EA Sports, Aaron Andrews and Sir Curb Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks. We'll see you next time.